Hello YouTube, this is Sonic 2 kk here, and welcome back to a new, well not welcome back, but, well, I suppose welcome back, but this is a new programming series, and it's going to be on Love, or Love Today, as it's commonly known, uh, 0.9.x, because I know there's 0.9.1 and 0 0.9.0, and I'm not entirely sure what the point release is, I think it was a, a bug fix or something, but anyway, welcome to this new series. Now the reason I am starting a new Love 2D tutorial series, uh, in case you don't know I had a series about Love 2D before called uh, Love Game Development or something, I can't remember exactly what the name was, but it was for Lua, or Lua, Lua, Love 0.8.0 and if you don't know what Love is I'll get to that in a second. And I was getting a lot of questions about, oh, uh, what what's the problem, uh, a certain uh, thing in Conf.Lua isn't working. There was just there was a lot of changes in releases and uh, I think it was at one of the developers or one of the contributors or there was someone on the forums whenever I was on the forums well I'm back on the forums now but a while ago had said that a lot of games will break with 0 0.9.0 uh, so I decided to make a new series on it after a lot of consideration and also uh, there was someone I can't remember his or her name I'm sorry, I really, really apologise, but if you're watching this series, you know who you are. You asked uh, if I could make a platformer, and uh, I wanted to get on to that very fast. That was actually what I had in mind, and then I stopped doing love tutorials. I stopped using love. Don't, don't really ask why. Some people already know. And um, after I stopped using love, I didn't make any more tutorials on it. It's been ages, and uh, people have been asking me to bring it back. And if I was going to bring it back, I would need to make 0 0.9.0, and I was very lazy, and I, I just didn't want to do that. But I'm back, we're back, and love will continue as normal, except for the fact that we are going to go back over some of the basic concepts. Uh, if you've already watched the other series, this might be a little boring for you, but there will be some things that you will need to know um, how to fix. And I will cover them, mention what they were in 0 0.8 and what need to fix in 0 0.9, but anyway... For the people who don't know what Love or Love 2D is, it is, as it says on the website, Love is an awesome framework that you can use to make 2D games in Lua. It's free, open source, and works on Windows, Mac, OS X, OS X, and Linux. I am running on OS X, and it works perfectly. You can distribute uh, AXEs on Windows and .apps on OS X, and on Linux, the user will have to have Love installed as far as I know. I think you can make .debs, but there's no standardized way of making a Linux uh, application, like, uh, oh, what's the term? Binary. That's the term. There's no way to make a Linux binary uh, without having the user having Love install. In in that case, you will have to use you ha you will have to ask the user to download Love. And you will have to ask the user uh, oh not ask the user. You have to distribute a dot Love, which is Love's standard um, file format. It's a dot Love. So. That is what Love2D is. You can download its open source and that has a very, very, very nice community. And here are all the different installers. Here is the Mac zipped. Basically what you do is whenever you download from Mac, you will get this. But you will get, I think it's just called Love. Oh, that's Rubber Piggy. I have lots of different versions of Love installed, I apologize. You will get this. And one of the major differences was resizing in the new version. And that is why uh, you can resize here. It's awesome. It is very, very awesome. It was called Baby Inspector. That was its code name. But the other one was just Rubber Piggy and it did not have resizing. And if we go up here to Splam Text, I have the build system set to 0 0.9.1. Another difference in uh, 0 0.9 and and stuff, and I assume it will be onwards, we now have Lua Jit built in. Lua, Lua a J-I-T, Lua Jit, whatever you want to pronounce it. It's basically Lua just in town compiler, which is uh, I, there was a certain number fast, I think it was like four times faster or something, and it's, it just makes love faster. Um, love was built on top of SDL and OpenGL, if you're interested in all that, but you can go and you can look up all that stuff if you would like. But let's dive into the tutorial. So I assume you're here because you really want to make games using Lua. If you don't know what Lua is, I have a tutorial series on my channel on it. So you can just go to my channel, youtube.com slash user slash sonic2kk. Or I assume if you're watching this video, there will be a little link below where it says my name. You can click on that. And if you scroll down my channel, you'll see playlists. And my Lua tutorial series should be there. So let's get started. 
to start making a game in love. Uh, I'm going to assume they already know Lua. You have to say love.load. This is what is known as a callback. And a callback is basically a built-in function that is called by love. So you're defending this, but whenever you build and run your love program, uh, love has a built-in file that it runs or there's something. Basically, love will look for this. And this is called whenever your program loads. This is, if you like, the constructor for your program. And then you can like say x equals 10, player name equals Eamon, and y equals 20, gold equals 100. So we'll have text. And the next one, the next callback is love.update, dt. And this is called every single frame. Uh, a frame is basically just uh, it's not a second, it's, um, if you ever see in a game it will say frames per second, that's how many times the game refreshes per second, that's how many times the game updates, and delta, the DT means delta time, and this is the amount of time it takes to, um, switch between frames, so it might take, if you're on a really bad computer, it might take one second to switch between frames, so if you're updating the player's X position, if you're changing it, if you want them to move, uh, on the X axis or Y axis, Axis is up and down, left axis is right, axis is right and left. Uh, you should know this all from, uh, oh, I don't know, I think maybe primary five, I'm not sure what it is in other countries, but this is very, very basic stuff. If you don't know about coordinates, just go and look it up, but you really should know about coordinates. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of trouble in game development because I'm not going to sit here and cover it, <laughs> cover that. So delta time is the amount of time it takes to switch between those frames, and whenever you're updating a position or updating a value, you usually want to multiply it by DT. This will mean that the game will run at the same speed on all computers. This is just a way to ensure that your game uh, won't run faster on like a Mac Pro or will run really, really slow on an old Pentium 4 computer. It, it basically keeps the same speed on all computers. And this is what you would use to update all your positions. Like you would use this to change your game state from the main menu to the playing state. Uh, you would check how many lives the player has. Maybe if he gets 99, you'll um, unlock something. I don't know. But you don't do any drawing in here. You don't draw your images. You draw your images in love.draw. This is where you would draw your player sprite. This is where you would draw your player uh, image that you would have. This is where you would draw your coins. This is where you would draw your map. This is where you would do all that. You would do everything in love.draw to do with drawing, everything to do with updating in love.update, and everything to do with loading in love.load. The next one is love.focus. Now, this one is pretty simple. This uh, function, or I, I apologize if I say method, um, I call them methods because I'm used to, uh, to Java and Python. As you'll know if you watch my channel, you will know I have a Python series going on right now and I'm talking about methods. So I apologize. Basically, just know that unless I specify otherwise, for right now, uh, whenever I say method, I mean function. Um, yeah. Focus is called whenever you have a window, because with love, it automatically creates your window. If you focus in that window, the method is called. And when you unfocus in that window, this function is also called. And the, the bool, boolean, uh, either returns true or false. It's true if the window is focused and false if the window is not focused. Right now, let's just say print, boo. <laughs> print boo. function, love that text input. This is a new one specific to love 0.9.0, .0. and this is called whenever the user types a key. So if you type, like say hi, the text will be h, and the next one will be i. So this basically returns the key that you enter, and this is used for, of course, text input. The next one is another one uh, specific to love 0 0.9, love.resize. I apologize for that, I just, uh, something interrupted me. Anyway, love.resize, that's, yeah, that's what I was talking about, love.resize. Um, love.resize is a method or function called whenever the window resizes, and it takes width and height. This returns the new width and the new height. So right here, if we say print, actually we'll go back and do something, I guess. Um, new window with with new window height 
and hitch. Oh, it's just the William hitch. There we go. This is just uh, the concatenation operator I'm doing, in case you forgot. Up here we will say print text. A little draw, we will print print uh, drawing. Up here we will print. Oh, I can't type. Print updating. DT is DT. And then up here we will say uh, print loading. So yeah, this is basically just things that print statements that are called whenever um, these whenever these functions are called. Um, I also should mention that love.update is called every frame and love.draw is called every frame. But they're called in that order. Uh, update is called and then draw is called. So you're updating the player's position and then drawing the player at its new position. Updating, drawing. Updating, drawing. Got it? Good. Yeah. This is called whenever the window resizes. Did I mention it was called whenever the window resizes? Oh yeah, it's called whenever the window resizes. <laughs> anyway, function love dot key pressed key uni code. Yeah, so this function or method is called whenever a key is pressed, just like text input. I'm not really sure what the differences are, but I assume there is a difference. Key is the key that is pressed. It will return A, E, G, semicolon, or whatever. It'll actually return the the character for semicolon, I think. It won't return the text semicolon. And Unicode is the Unicode character for it. So you can print key. Ah. Key. Unicode. Unicode. If you can't tell, I like exclamation marks. <laughs> anyway, next one is the opposite of this. Love that key released. This is, of course, called whenever a. I'll give you three guesses. I'm gonna give you five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Hopefully, you got it because it is called whenever a key is released, and it also takes these parameters. Print. Key, key, Unicode. I could have just copied and pasted from up there, but it's too late now because I am finished typing. Function love dot mouse pressed X Y button and function mouse love dot mouse release. X, Y, button. Button. Yes, so these methods are basically the exact same as love.keypress and love.keyreleased, except they work for uh, mouse, for your mouse. Love.mousepress is called whenever the mouse is pressed, and it will give you the X, Y, and button, so you can print, print, mouse pressed at X of X and Y of Y and the button was button. Now, one thing that was kind of confusing for me whenever I first started using love was button. What is button? Well, button is the button on the mouse that is pressed. Uh, it'll either be the left mouse button, which is used to click in case you don't know, or the right mouse button, which is used to like uh, bring up this menu. And then um, the other button is the scroll wheel button. Now I can't really demonstrate this because I'm using an Apple Magic Mouse. And it, well, you can use the middle mouse button, but mm, it's kind of iffy. So you can test it out yourself. You can, if you have a scroll wheel, just press that down and it should return button. And what we can do here is we can copy this, paste it. Ah, what did I do? Copy. 
There's nothing weird with my sublime text but this appears in every line where I copy and paste something. Or copy and or paste. Why is there an extra end there? Anyway, we can say mouse released at x of and y of. And then the last one I can think of is love.quit. And this takes nothing. And this is called whenever your app is uh, quitting or exiting. It's whenever you press the X button, like here, say this was a love window and I pressed X, which I'm not going to. Um, this method will be called, this function will be called. And basically you can do whatever here. You Usually what people say is love.event.quit. I think it basically just ensures that the app does exit, but you don't really have to put this here. You can put whatever you want here. You can delete things if you really want to, I think, but I think Glue's Garbage Collector does that automatically. But if there's anything you wish to delete, if there's anything you wish to save, you can put down there in love.quit. Or you could leave the user a goodbye message. Or you could say, are you sure you want to quit? Or anything like that. Just before the user quits, like, are you sure you want to quit? Any unsaved changes will be lost or, or something. Yeah. So these are all love uh, callbacks. Pretty simple. This is your first love application, and if we run this, it will say untitled, because we have not given the window a title. And notice how the window is not resizable, but look here, drawing, updating, dt. No. Oh, there mustn't take a unicode. Here, dump that key released. Must not take a unicode. 31. I thought it took Unicode. It doesn't take Unicode anymore. Huh. It's starting to take key now. And maybe they changed what the argument was called. Anyway, it's just uh, the key now. And we will remove this. And if we do this, most press, most released. We go key Q, key L G V. that is the command key. I will have a link to the love wiki where all the keys are named. I can't find the mouse press. Let's bring this up a little bit. Update drawing, update drawing, update drawing, update drawing, update drawing. You know what? Let's run that again, but we will not print this out or print this out. And yeah, mouse pressed at this and button was L and R. It prints L, so you can check to see if the left mouse button was pressed. And that is the left mouse button and then the right one. P, L, Q, E, and then L, Q for command Q. True, what would that have been? Oh, focused, that is focused and then this is loading. And there we are. This is where it was printed in the window. I apologize for this because apparently um, the Unicode, there's a problem with the Unicode. Um, I will look into that for the next tutorial. But anyway, that is it for this tutorial. Hopefully you learned and understood something. Here is our application once again. It's basically a window that is 800 by 600. That is Love's default resolution. And you can resize it to anything. You can resize it to whatever size you want. Yeah. So that is it for this look, for this uh Love tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe and click the like button. It really helps to show that uh, you are enjoying my tutorials and that you would like to see more of these love tutorials. Because I like getting motivation and comments and whatever. Because I don't know. I just I just like it. <laughs> anyway, that's it. My name is Sonic2KK and I will see you in the next tutorial.